glad to have you on site. Uh, I know I'm 30 minutes late, but I think I spent the morning doing some very interesting stuff. Uh, like you all know, um, the popular where we are, yeah. uh, we're finishing up the piling. Simultaneously, we are happy when you look at everything from top down, from the retail to the health to, to entertainment and the rest of the nanos. We are probably about 75-80% gone in terms of occupancy and, and sales level for some of the nanos as well as some of the amazing space. So I was this morning just finalizing some of the alliances that we are currently in the healthcare sector. Um, so we are moving forward and now we are at the stage where we finished 652 pounds. Correct. Um, and now we are going to the next stage which is bringing you, Jutu, uh, uh, to the side to, to commence lifting up of the building to the, to the, to the capital. Uh, and we believe we are up to the task. Um, we have gone through a rigorous process, yep. uh, very painstaking negotiation process. But you tell us, how do you feel, how, how, how do you feel the, uh, about the process, how do you feel about the project, and how do you see things taken up from here? What sort of timelines are you also like, mobilization that you're working on now and, and the team structure right. and that will give some of our users the level of comfort they are to have with respect to us working with Newton. Thank you so much. Uh, it's a pleasure. We're excited to be here. Um, we'd like to thank um, the entire Purple team for this opportunity. Um, this project is an iconic one. We look forward to it. It's going to change this entire skyline um, in Lekki and Lagos and the whole country. Probably the whole of West Africa. Um, we are excited to be a part of this project. The, the, the process leading to this point has been extremely rigorous. Um, we're glad to have come out um, on top of that process, all the negotiation and everything. Finally culminating in what is about to be the beginning of an iconic project. Well, um, in terms of timeline, um, we're going to be moving equipment to site in the next couple of days. Um, all our machinery, our entire yard, our cranes, everything is going to be mobilized fully to the site in the next couple of days and weeks leading towards the um, end of the year. Things are going to start picking up here and we look forward to delivering um, the first part of this project in the next six months as um, we have already discussed. So um, this place is going to change rapidly and very quickly. Yeah. Uh, in terms of, I mean, in terms of the number of people that you think will be working on a daily basis at like the highest level, what sort of numbers, based on what you've seen of the joints, what sort of numbers do you, do you understand? What sort of employment capabilities do you see us generating in the middle to long term? This is, this uh, is going to be... In the construction phase, you know? In the construction phase, this is going to be huge. Um, there are going to be some days that 200 people are going to be working here. Um, we could have anything between... 50, 100, and even 200 at the maximum. Um, that's direct labor. And of course, there's the ripple effect of people who are going to be providing food, um, other facilities for the workers, you know, the healthcare, everything um, culminating in probably direct and indirect jobs, nearing maybe 300, 400 uh, direct and indirect jobs created directly uh, uh, during construction alone. And um, of course, that means there's going to be a ripple effect in the economy. Uh, people are going to have uh, means of livelihood. And that is something that excites us. We're in an industry that would easily uh, be a circle for unemployment um, in the country because the construction project easily can give people jobs two years in a row and um, decent jobs at that. When, when we look at you, I mean, we've seen our consultant team, you know, we've worked with them extensively to get to the point where we are now. Um, I mean, what, are, these, are, these mem are these members of teams that you, you've worked with in the past? Are, are these people that you are comfortable working with? Uh, from the handover, from the piling, from the contractors to yourself? What, what level of synergy and what level of comfort do you have in being able to come on this assignment? Um, what excites me is the fact that we have a fantastic team on this project. Um, from the architects, the structural engineers, the MEP guys, and of course, the uh, company who has handled the filing, we've had a fantastic relationship, it's been very similar. And this is good because um, the handover is going to be completely similar, we're just going to flow right into the project. Um, and the fact that the filing has been done by a reputable company gives us a lot of comfort. Of course, all the necessary uh, technical and structural tests are going to be done to satisfaction, and that will give us confidence that whatever is put on it is going to start.
and forever. I mean, this is the first time we're working with Butum, and we're very comfortable with, with what Butum will do at Purple Lucky. Uh, we believe that it's the beginning of alliances, and alliances uh, take a while to build, and we know that we're doing more projects for them. Uh, the rest of the team we've worked with extensively, and they've been able also, but as consultants and contractors, they've actually worked together. So there's a seamless process in terms of them being able to work together. We believe that this iconic project at Purple Lucky will be one that will be, will be, one that will be particularly um, interesting uh, for both Dutum and ourselves in terms of the sort of landmark project that the economy requires at this point in time. So we expect we expect uh, a lot of a lot of uh, sweat and tears, oh, yeah. uh, a lot of arguments. <laughs> but like with all things, you know, uh, if, if there are no arguments and there are no sweat and, and, and blood, then uh, the end result may not be the best. But we know that with, with the level of interest and comfort that we get from Putin and the rest of the team, Purple uh, as developers will be able to deliver this very much uh, expected and coming type of project. That has the elements of the nanos, the pop of nanos, uh, that has the elements of the entertainment, uh, the, the food, the co working spaces, uh, uh, as well as the, the retail uh, uh, and entertainment spaces that, that we require within our, within our middle vicinity. So please watch out for this space, make sure you buy your nano, uh, make sure you use up your space appropriately, and of course. So what they will do, Putin will do at this site, a popular issue, very much uh, patronizing.